Hey, it's Jason Creel. I want to give you my April 2016 business update for my own personal lawn care business. So April is a good month. Um, April, in my opinion, is always the month that I kind of look as the, the grand opening of, of lawn season, at least here in Alabama. Uh, it's not when it starts, but April is typically when it sort of hits full swing. So people's grass, uh, they, they start cutting people's uh, lawns as well as you know doing weed control and fertilization it's all going full swing so anyway for me this month in april i picked up according to my software picked up 27 uh, new customers so um not i i, I was pleased with that except, but uh, I, march i had gotten i think 33 so i actually uh, went down a little in april and so here's uh, what i want to talk about with april things that went right and wrong and at least what I learned. Um, things that went right. Well, personal on a personal note, we had a our fourth child. My wife wife uh, delivered our baby, and you're gonna find this out crazy. Uh, you know, you may have heard that with each child, the labor is a quicker process. Well, we actually didn't make it to the hospital, and the baby was born in the car. So. Um, it's not exactly what we had, had planned, but everyone is fine and we live to tell about it. So um, now, if you've never heard anybody that happened to, I'm certainly not the only one, but I didn't know of anyone until, until it happened to me. So anyway, I had a baby and that was good. Um, then as far as the business goes, um, here, here's what I started realizing. You know, in, in Alabama, like I said, April's kind of the month where everyone starts needing their grass cut. Well, in March and February, I was getting a lot of calls for weed control and fertilization. And you get calls through other advertising, such as door hangers and uh, through my website and you know things like that. What well, April, what I realized is that I sort of had a switch. I started getting a lot of referrals from guys who I built relationships with who were mowing lawns. And so they send me the weed control customers in turn, I'm, I'm getting a lot of calls for uh, to cut grass. I'm, I still have some uh, mowing accounts, but I'm not taking on any new ones right now. So I start sending those uh, to these other guys who are sending me weed control customers. So, um, so, so I kind of realized that one thing that helped me understand was, hey, if I'm going to be doing door hangers, direct mail, uh, things like that, that needs to be happening in February and March, um, especially for weed control and fertilization, and I would say for mowing probably in March and April. And so in April, I'm getting constantly getting leads through the internet and through my website, and uh, people find me online, but probably 75% of them want someone to cut their grass. And so, um, so anyway, and that's fine, but I've, I've got all these other guys who are, are picking up mowing customers and you know they refer them to me for the weed control so it's working out fine so 27 customers that puts me uh, this year two in this area i'm at around 190 customers um, so you know my goal is to get 300 this year i don't know if that'll happen or not but it's it's going well last year i ended the year uh, with about 100 customers so so far through the first four months of 2016 i've picked up about 90 customers so you know, it's going good, about, about as, as good as I could hope for. I'm certainly learning a lot and continue to market my business and, you know, having, um, you know, some level of success and at least reach the level now where I'm making a living off my business and not having to supplement my income. So, um, so anyway, that, those would be the takeaways as far as your marketing strategy, understanding when the customers are looking for the service that you're providing. So if you're in weed control fertilization, and, and again, I'm speaking in Alabama time frame. So if you're up north, this may be later. But for me, I need to be marketing in February and March and also in April. But again, in April, I'm seeing a lot more people looking for uh, lawn mowing and where in March, you know, I was getting more weed control calls. So and that helps me uh, shape my target, uh, you know, understand when I need to be marketing. I think too, back to having a baby, you know, that just pr brings up this question. I think it's a huge issue that uh, for how many of you are, you know, have families or then the, the understanding of how to balance your business 
um, with your family life and that, that comes into play because obviously you can go uh, too far either side you can um, you know you spend all day with your family and, and your, your business starts to dwindle or you can you know spend too much time on your business and your family uh, start to fall apart and so uh, it is a it is a balance and so I'm trying to you know balance that with four kids and a, a wife to understand how how I can spend more time with my wife more time with my kids um, particularly during you know as my wife she was thankful to have the baby in April because she wanted to, didn't want to be pregnant during the hot summer months she could spend most of her pregnancy during when the weather was cooler I got thinking about it, I was like, April is not the ideal time for me to have a new, you know, have a new baby to the family because, you know, that's the busiest month of the year, you know, perhaps. So, anyway, but just obviously, um, the family is, is a big priority is for me, and so understanding how can I balance uh, my business with my family, and, and what I just try to do, I mean, just is, is not rocket science, but you know, there's no magic number about working 40 hours a week, though our society sort of uh, lends itself to that number. But I have found that that is a, a good number for me. At least if I can, you know, try to work five, eight-hour days. Um, you know, obviously sometimes the nature of the business, you, you've got to work longer hours, and sometimes if it's raining, you may work a lot shorter hours. So. Um, it, it's not, it can't always be 40 hours, but I've found that if I can sort of focus on that goal, then that gives me other time to uh, focus on other priorities such as my family. So anyway, business going good. I've got, I've been busy, hadn't done as many videos lately. Um, you can always make suggestions in the comments of videos or topics you'd like me to cover, but um, I do have some ideas, some videos that I'm hoping to get uh, to do soon. And so anyway, just want to put this out here. Business going good for me. Love to hear how it's going for you. Thanks.